Right, quick video about upgrading Freelander to headlights from Halogen to Xenon, which is quite a good upgrade in terms of light output. Now, there are some problems with it. It seems that the Freelander 2 senses how much current is being drawn by the unit, and if it doesn't match the way the car is configured, then it puts it into a semi-shutdown mode. Now, you, you need to be careful because some headlights look like they're xenons they've got this glass ball in the middle but actually there's a halogen bulb behind them and on the label you can see it says it's a halogen unit now this is saying it's right hand and this is saying that it's got an eu beam pattern so some will also have so there's another one down here so you can see this is a halogen and this has got uk so this should have a uk beam pattern and this is a left hand headlight so the left hand doesn't mean left hand or right hand it means whether the car it's the left hand as in the sort of near side or off side right so we have got this car set up so the other thing that you can tell is if you look on the underside of the headlight on there there will be a control pack on the underside if it is a xenon one it will have an exterior mounted um control pack and we'll have a look we'll take that one out in a minute so this one is a halogen unit and this one over here unfortunately we haven't got the label but this one over here is the xenon type so you will i will show you what happens now just to clarify this is a 2008 car we fitted the later headlights we fitted our loom so the funk the conversion loom so the functions will be slightly different but if you're just looking at going from the same year from halogen to xenon um like for like design wise um let's see what happens when you do that so that you can see while my halogen one is fine happy on dip beam there the xenon one i've plugged in sometimes they boot up and switch off but other times they just do this now i can put it on main beam and it will actually be okay um i'll show you that but that's dip beam and that's main beam so main beam's happy enough it's got no problem with main beam um, so there's some current sensor in the body control module and if it doesn't match the current the car is set to match then that's the problem you get now you can and um, let me get the iid tool and i can change the car on the iid tool from halogen to xenon and we can see how they both respond then Okay, so I have plugged the IID tool into the ODB2 port down in the footwell there somewhere. It's a bit dark and gloomy, sorry. And um, we've used this several times before. Um, so if you open the app, okay, and then if we go search for tool, let me try and get the light right so I'm on my own today. Search for tool. Okay. And you can see it's done all that. Now the bit of the tool we need to go into is the car configuration. So we are doing what's called CCF files, which is the car configuration. So this is at the factory. They tell the car what lights it's got fitted. So if we go into the car configuration and it says the car configuration file will be loaded. Continue. Okay, it loads it, it reads it. Now it's important to say when you're playing with an IID tool, make sure your battery's charged and obviously make sure your ignition is switched on. Let me see if I can there we go flick the ignition on okay and it's reading the ccf file now we've got two lists here we've got the confirmed list and the untested so you're kind of going off piste if you go into the untested so we're going to go confirm list and then the only one they've got there is the body control module and then you've got loads of things you can change here in terms of the configuration okay in terms of how it opens and closes as you drive along but the one we're look whether you've got heated front seats the one we're looking for is this one here which is the headlight type so at the moment it's currently set up with halogen headlights with adjuster so the adjuster they're talking about is this adjuster down here let me open the door let a bit more light in so this is this manual adjuster so with halogen lights you have an adjuster and you can if i put the headlights on and put them on dip beam you can see them shining on the evoke in front and if i twiddle this little wheel here you will hear and see the headlight adjuster move 
Can you see that going up? Hopefully you can. And then if I go back down again, you can see the beam change. Now, in the UK, Xenon headlights, because they're brighter, they need to have the headlight leveling built into the car. So as the car goes down, if you put some cement in the back of your car, as the back goes down, the headlights will go up, which could dazzle people. And because they're brighter and Xenon, that's not good. So they need to have automatic headlight leveling with xenon cars so as we go through these menus you will start to see so if we type the head if we go onto the headlight type so we currently got um we get the camera in the right place halogen lights with adjuster okay that's what we currently have but there's different options we can get so this one here is gas discharge which is xenon light with auto adjuster now that's probably what we want and then you get advanced front lighting system with adjuster. And then this one's got GDL, which we know is gas discharge, like advanced front lighting. So we've got multiple ones we can choose from here. Um, certainly two mentioning gas discharge. Now I haven't done this before, so I'm gonna try gas discharge lights with auto adjuster. So I'm gonna select this one. I'm gonna go apply. Um, then I need to upload the changes where it's going to reflash the ECU. And this is why it's important you have a fully charged battery and have the battery on charge because it is going to um, do various things now. And if you if the battery runs out halfway through the upload, you'll if the technical term is you will brick your car. So let me go upload changes, upload these changes. And it, it confirms, it says currently you've got halogen lights with adjuster and you're going um, auto gas discharge so yeah so let's go yeah right so here we go this takes a while right and while it's doing this it will sort of turn your car on and off it's like demons have possessed your car it's a bit scary um right so as it's doing all that with the iid tool the iid tool when you buy it you can fault read any land rover vehicle which it which it suits which is most of them um but you can only modify your own vehicle and it's sort of chassis locked in terms of modification so this tool we can only modify one car right it's waiting so it's initializing and it'll give you the instructions so you can go i'll put the link to gap diagnostics i think you all make stock them in the uk right then so it gives me some instructions so switch off ignition wait for the lcd to turn off and then return the ignition on so there we go so let's turn the ignition off all right there we go wait for the lcd to turn off so i'm guessing it meaning the lcd in the instrument cluster here right the lcds have turned off so let's turn the ignition on okay and then let's go for continue now Okay, it's clearing the faults, upload successful. Right, so that is the process, but let's have a look what it's actually done. Right, so let's, um, let's have a look. So we can turn on side lights, we can turn on. Now let's go and have a look if both of them are working, because it'd be interesting to see if the halogen and the xenon is now working on, in, on dip beam. So yeah. So there we go. So now you can see our modified light. Um, so it's, we have both now. If you set it, interesting, if you set the CCF to Xenon, you can have halogens or Xenons. So you could actually drive your car before you do the headlight upgrade to somewhere and say, hey, can you just change my CCF files? So there you go. So that's, there you go. And that one's also on. So let me just check main beam. And then we have modified. There we go. Mm -mm. Right, so here we go, put main beam on. Yeah, so we have got main beam, dip beam, main beam, dip beam. Right, so there we go, how to change your CCF files on the Freelander 2 using the IID diagnostics tool. Okay, that was all great, but um, there's obviously a question. I just went back to my desk and I thought, oh no, does the adjuster now work? So let me turn the dip beam on. And now let's see if, if moving the adjuster does anything. I'll, I'll hear it. Yeah, so both headlights are moving. 
So there we go. So although it said with auto adjuster, it does still work. So you can still use your manual, you will adjust the wheel with that selection one I selected there. Now, whether auto headlight adjuster works, I don't know. Um, I don't know how to test it. Maybe after all this COVID's over, I'll have to put the mother-in-law in the back of the car and drive along and see if the uh, headlight goes up or not. No offence to the mother-in-laws, just a joke. Um, right, so there we go. Um, I think I've answered some of the questions on how to upgrade your Freelander 2 from Halogen to Xenon headlights. We are going to do more videos on the headlights, the different types, um, but that's just to address this issue of using the IID tool to upgrade the CCF files.